the other side. And when I say that, I hope you understand. I'm just using that as a, as a descriptor. Two of those women came in, just like you did, and wanted to see me because they felt like they were being harassed by Ms. Graves. Okay. Okay? And I told them the same thing I told Ms. Graves. People posting on social media and saying nasty things about each other does not on its face. They actually, the other side, let me use, again using that scripture, had came in and saw, just as Ms. Graves did, to file criminal charges against each other for the, let's call it harassment, just as a simple, again, a simple descriptor. It wasn't criminal. Same thing I told Ms. Graves. It's not criminal. I, you can, you're right, you could go on social media and call me the son of Satan. Well, let me it's ask not you, criminal. if I'm not mentioning your name, I'm just mentioning the situation, mm -hmm. and six people or five people, well, six should have been filing suit, only five, five then decided, you know, we feel threatened. What's about the other six or seven people? Um, it, does that, like, put a hole in your story? Like, why would you feel threatened and these people don't? I think what they felt... And I didn't call their names. Nobody yeah. called their names. I, I is think that what they felt is trying similar to tell to what, me I'm insinuating something. So I think what they felt is similar to what Ms. Graves expressed to me mm -hmm. when I met with her is these people, and they both use that term, these people are harassing me or implying that I was part of a criminal act they, and then Ms. Graves was, these people are saying that I'm harassing them and I'm not. I'm just trying to find... That's insinuation. Why would Detective Michael Christian tell them go and get a gun permit? I don't believe that anyone told them... It came out in court. Gun. The judge I, has it on her I, record. I, I understand. You said it earlier. Anybody can say anything. And yeah, I will but share why this would a detective even suggest, much less tell? Okay. We've asked that question. Our detectives did not ask or say, you, you're getting harassed. We well, suggest you go get a gun. I'm just getting it from the information and the facts that I sat and listened to. Okay. Okay. They may no. have asked, should you, we get you, a gun permit? Maybe he said if you no, need no, to. No, I, I don't know. No. So, no, no I'm perfect. No, I'm, I'm just saying, I don't no, know. No, 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 I'm but I, I, I asked Detective Christian, when, yes, we did not tell anyone to go get a gun. Okay? According to what he told you. Yes. But according to what the people said, I understand after they raised their right hand, okay. that was... Yes. But it would have been poetry otherwise, so they spoke the truth. And if they asked the question of, we're worried this crazy person is going to come to our house, I'm making, again, I don't know what they mm -hmm. said, is going to come to our house and, you know, can, can, should we get a gun permit? You can go get one if you want to. This is how you do it. I must say, and then they said, the detective told us how to get a gun permit. Okay. But... My point is between this this TPO issue yeah. and thing is that's that no that's two groups of people pissed off at each other and accusing each other of other things. One got mad they were getting accused of or alleged to have been involved in some something. If the other I didn't one was call that. your name, I'm not accusing you. You insinuate no. insinuating that you are the person, and if you insinuating because you have facts there, that you have there were, shared with me. There were social media posts. And it's just a, 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 a guilty conscience. There were social media posts made that did everything but accuse the people at that house. You're right, it didn't say by name. Of, and I get, you know, if, if you thought I was accusing you of something you had not done, and I'm not saying in this case, but let's just outside of this, let's say a business deal that I was accusing you of being a crook in a business deal. It's not criminal, it's civil. You, did, you would take offense at that, likely. And so we, we're not putting a Strong lot of words. credence. Strong words. Let me, let me, let me I stop. left before let, it went down. Let, let, me, let me stop you right here. One witness went on the stand and said, I left before it went down. All right, let me stop you right here. Yeah, I'll, okay. I'll stop. Mm -hmm. Personally, the, the, the social media post, the TPOs, going back and forth mm -hmm. has no bearing on the facts of the case 
And that's what I'm trying to get to the bottom of. Now, I'm just going off No, 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 sir. Let me talk for a second. Things. Yeah, you talk. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's no bearing. Let's don't let's don't muddy the water. Let's don't muddy the pool with all that nonsense. nonsense. Okay. Okay. Let's don't do that. Good choice of words. Let's <clears throat> get to the facts of the case and the facts and the evidence. That is what I've got well, to get to. Well, that's what I'm here to the learn facts. from you guys. And, and I'm getting that. I'm reason. getting this well, choir preaching all the time. But I'm not getting your information either. You say, I've got information about that's a cut on the rift. I've got, a, I've got a, a information on this. You were there to, to give me the courtesy of sharing what information you have. Well, Nobody has even granted me that street. courtesy. It's two-way street. Nobody. Okay. It's not a two-way street. Okay. It's one way up to now. It, it, Nobody it, it, has even granted me a tidbit of courtesy. So the call. See that we brought you in, showed you photos, we're meeting with exactly. you today, we've met with you before, we've no, given you the, a lot of I requested all yet. those meetings that we had. I requested it. Right. And, and we, we granted it. Granted. Okay. Nobody has called and said, well, you know, this is where we are. We said, wait and hang on. You know, we work well, quiet. Preaching all the time. But I'm not getting your information either. You say I've got information about That's a cut on the wrist. I've got a I've got a, a information on this. You were there to, me. to give me the courtesy of give sharing what me. information you have. Well, Nobody has even gone way up to now. So the call. See that we brought you in, showed you photo. Well, you said we didn't look at people's cell phones. It would require a search warrant to take their cell phones. Exactly. To get so get one. Based upon what? Based about there was not an enough probable an cause to get that. Based on an ongoing case. You can't. That's, that's not, not how the law works. Huh? Not that's not how the law works. That's not how the law works. My grandfather was a judge in this country, and my his five of his nine kids are lawyers. Okay. I could not have gotten search warrants for the people's cell phones there. Yes, there you can. A, no, I could not have. I. I I assure you, I could not ask. I'm no, I know if you investigate in a, 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 a seat. Well, okay, suppose you went there and nobody wanted to talk. They all plead the fifth. You're, you're right. At that point, we would have to do more work and more work and more work to do. Then do more work and more work because and I'll tell will. you what. The, those, the attendees, because I have sent away the chip for my daughter's phone to see what was erased from it. I should get it back pretty soon. If you're covering this thing here with everything, you make sure the day it happened to, because I have some pictures, but I know that's not all the pictures she would send on Facebook. Hmm? She Facebooked her stepdaughter at 12.30 in the night. So I know it had to happen after that. I have uh, to her neck region, let's call it that. I, I don't know specifics of what, broken neck. what that was. Okay, then this is why I'm telling you. My information you. comes from one of the most highly respected pathologists. All right, give me okay. his name and I will call him today. I have to get his permission. I get, told get you that. Just have, give me that courtesy. Do you have his number? Call him. They're not on, on me right Call now. him. Tell him, please. Give him our information. Give him my yeah. number. Give him Tyler's number. Well, I know number. to get you. Please. I know yeah. to get you. Please. Can Thank you him. give me your card? Absolutely. Sure. Go, go to Tyler because he's the one doing this, or, or Major Perkins. Because the whole deal is we. I want these two guys to talk. If I'm assuming they're both guys. I don't know. It could be it, pathologists. could be male or female. I think you guys I want these two doctors to talk. Yeah. So, again... Let's let them talk. But preliminary from what there was a fracture. They didn't think that was fatal. They thought that she could have moved. Yeah. And I want to say had the ability had a to move. Heart. Mm -hmm. And something with the heart. Mm -hmm. Again, I, I just, I, I was briefed five oh, so or six weeks ago about this. What's that? Yeah, I know about the lacerated heart. Yeah. Yeah. So, so again. Yeah. What else you know? What else? I can't tell you just off the top. And that's okay. just what I remember from talking to the thing. Uh, yeah, I didn't bring the whole case file down. And that was preliminary how long ago? Uh, whenever, okay. right after the autopsy. So, I mean, it would have been, we're talking weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks ago. Oh, uh, like these people six, seven, that eight, eight took ago. that went out of their way. And so I went to court 
I listen to it properly. There's some guy I just don't trust at all, Michael, whatever his name. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, what's what now? Michael, whatever. Christian? No. Detective? No. Um, oh, one of the witnesses there? Yeah, or who filed the lawsuit. Who what? Filed the, the lawsuit. Okay, well, I guess. So I was, this is the first time I'm seeing these people. Okay. So I was looking at them. I'm not born in that world. A story that was well rehearsed. And every person had the exact same story that I could have even repeated before they, well, not repeat, no. but... Um, we have interviewed I have most of these folks. I have one months. thing that struck me deep. Uh, Michelle knows the name. I have it written down. Um, she said she left before it went down. You should have seen the hard facts that I have accumulated. That's why my first response to you when I came in, well, you tell me what you know. So, and, and that is, we look at factual evidence. So we look at... It wasn't fatal. It wouldn't have been a fatal fracture, but it was broken. No, it was not. Okay. Okay, then this is right, this is where from what I was told okay. from my pathologist. Right, so, so let me share. We're telling you what mm -hmm. the preliminary, some of the preliminary stuff. Oh, that's preliminary. Preliminary. From okay, our so ME. Don't say that that's a fact. Okay. Well, this is what the ME is <clears throat> telling us in their preliminary. They're, they're, mm -hmm. They have stated it fact, and we have to wait for the final report to see that they've. They, they go back and review everything again where they write the report. We do that. Insinuated just, that it might be here. not broken to cause in, instant death. She also had a, a brain injury she had plus a, brain a lacerated injury. heart. Yeah. So, okay, so okay. if death came within, you know, five seconds, she moves a little bit, and then she finally climbs. That's contradicting what this gentleman no, is talking about. No, that's not. That is saying exactly what happened. A few so, seconds. All right, guys. Sir, 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 sir. Can I, can I, can, can I bring in Michelle now? Because I don't want to be no. here all day. Well, you know? no, I mean, from I, she has some questions to ask so, you guys. Listen to me, depending on. And, and, and my internal affairs investigator is going to speak with Miss Graves and share with her. And, I, and I'll, I'll tell you this: she's filed a number of things. The reason I won't speak with Miss Graves, and I'm being very blunt, mm -hmm. okay? She has misrepresented several things that I said to her. And I have no interest. Which I don't know. I, I know, sir. And I don't blame you for that. And I don't, I'm not mad at her. But I'm not going to conduct what is a serious business with someone who's going to go out and publicly misrepresent it. Okay? That's my opinion. And that's, that's right or wrong. It is my opinion. Okay? That has nothing to do with your daughter's case. She made an allegation that this Jose guy, whatever his last name is, I don't even Mm -hmm. uh, you know what I'm talking about, mm -hmm. okay? Who that didn't appear on the stand to be cross-examined during yeah. during this had she felt somebody had stolen her ID, and then I spoke with her. No one had stolen her ID, but she made an allegation. She thought that he was accessing records through uh, through whatever. So how would they get it? So when I know they had it, all right. I know that for a fact. Well, I, this is I do, but I also. So I also showed her, mm -hmm. okay, how you can run through a public search database, and I basically showed her basically all the information that, that we pulled, you know, that was there that somebody could access without there. But it did make me go back and look. I ordered an audit, an internal audit of our computer systems. The judicial system, which is the courts over there, mm -hmm. okay, they have a pretrial diversion. That's who Jose worked for, mm -hmm. okay? They have access to our basic police reports because they have to, because they deal with people who've been arrested for pre-trial right, right. and stuff. Okay. And what I found out was he had accessed the initial incident report, which is a public mm -hmm. record, and the statements, which are public record. But he had no authority to do that. And when I say that, it wasn't one of his pre-trial detainees that he was doing business with, right, for his job. He used his position to access our records he could have filed an open records request and got it, but he used that computer system. Not a driver's license number. So, unless you have I, the number and you you input it. 
Right. Unless we not had give me a driver's license. He did not search Miss Graves by name. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I have to complete all that travel. But mm -hmm. he did. And I thought it was improper. And I'll be honest with you. I went to the judge's office and to the the court administrator that he works for mm -hmm. and I raised hell. Okay. And I cut his access off right then. They subsequently fired him.